Hey everyone, in the previous video, we improved the wild encounters by adding a chance percentage value for each Pokemon, which is the chance of that Pokemon appearing in a wild battle. So in this video, we'll write an editor script that will validate if the total chance is equal to 100. So here you can see that in our inspector, we are displaying the total chance. And now if I change the chance percentage of one of the Pokemons, as you can see that the total chance is also changing and if the total chance is not 100 then we'll get an error message like this saying that it's not 100 all right so let's look at how to implement this by the way i started a new series on patreon that covers how to make a 3d pokemon game like pokemon legend Zacchaeus in unity so if you're interested in making a 3d pokemon game or a 3d rpg game in general then you can check out this course on Patreon. So by becoming a Patreon, you can support this channel and get access to the 3D Pokemon series and get some other cool rewards like the complete project files of the series, some exclusive tutorials and access to the Discord community. So before we start, I want to say a huge thanks to all the Patreons who are currently supporting the channel. You guys make the series possible and I'm grateful to each and every one of you. So let's start the video. So let's look at how to customize the script and validate the total chance percentage. So let me open up the script in Visual Studio. All right, so right now, the code for calculating the upper and lower chance and the total chance is inside the start function, right? So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna move this into the on validate function so let me just create the on validate function here. So this function will be called whenever we make a change in the inspector, right? So since we want to validate the total chance, we should calculate it whenever we make a change in the inspector. Okay. So let me move this code into the on validate function. So basically, if we want to validate something, on validate is a good place to do it. All right. So next, we want to show the total chance in the inspector of the map area. So to customize the inspector, we have to use editor scripting. So let me show you how to do it. So first we have to create a new script for the editor of the map area. So inside the gameplay folder, this is where we have our map area script. So here I'll create another folder called editor all right so the name of this folder should be editor because all our editor scripts should be inside a folder called editor so here i'm going to create a new script called map area editor all right so let me open this up in visual studio so here I'm not just able to double click on the script and open it in Visual Studio. The reason is because when we create a folder called editor, Visual Studio will ask us to reload our project solution. So let's go ahead and reload it. All right. And now the map area editor script should open. Okay. So the reason for this is because when we create a script inside a folder called editor, Unity won't actually put it inside our main project. It'll put it in a different project. Okay. So here we have the second project and inside it, the only script we have right now is the map area editor. Okay. All the other scripts are in our main project. So now let's go ahead and implement the script. So first let me get rid of the default code and next since this is an editor script it's not going to inherit from mono behavior instead it's going to inherit from a class called editor okay so to use the editor class first we have to import the unity editor namespace so let me go ahead and do that so now this class is inheriting from the editor class so next we have to link this editor class to the map area script 
so basically we have to tell this edit the script that it's the edit the script of the map area script okay so to do that we have an attribute called custom editor and in the parameter of this attribute we have to pass the type of script that we want to link this editor to so in our case it's a map area script so here i'll pass type of map area all right so now this editor script is linked to the map area script so next we can actually start customizing the inspector so to customize the inspector we have to override a function called on inspector gui so if i just type override over here i can see all the functions that i can override so the one i want to override is on inspector gui so let me go ahead and do that okay so when we override this by default it will call base dot on inspector gui so let's actually go to unity and check if there is any change in our inspector so in the map area script you can see that there is no change so this is because we are calling base dot on inspector gui if we just comment this function and then if you look at the map area script you can see that there is nothing inside the map area script right so the base dot on inspector gui function it will just show the default ui of the inspector okay so in case you don't want the default ui and you want to create a completely different ui then you don't have to call this function and instead you can create your own custom ui but in our case we can have this ui we just want to add some additional fields below it right so first we want to show the total chance of the map area in the inspector so for that we can create a label to display it so we can create a label by calling gui layout dot label okay and in the parameter of this we can pass the text that should be shown inside the label so if i pass something like test label then this will create a label with the text test label inside it so let's go to unity and check our inspector all right so you can see that we have a new label here called test label so this is how you create a new label in the inspector so you can also create many other ui elements using the gui layout class so for example if you want to create a button you can call gui layout dot button and if you want a text field or a text area you can also create those all right so in our case what we want is a label for showing the total chance so to show the total chance here first we have to get the total chance from the map area script right so for that total chance should be a global variable so we can define it over here all right and let me just remove the integer from here so that we are not defining it again inside this function okay so now total chance is a global variable but to access it from the map area editor script we also have to make this a serialized field so let's also do that but the problem is when we make it a serialized field we'll also see this in the inspector but we don't want to see it right so we can just use the hide in inspector attribute to hide it from the inspector all right so now we can access the total chance variable from the editor script so all the variables of the map area script will be in a property called serialized object so in this object we have a function called find property which we can use to get any variables of the script to which this editor script is linked okay so in our case we want to find the total chance variable 
so inside find property i'll pass a total chance and this variable is an integer variable right so after find property i'll write dot int value all right so this will return the value of the total chance variable so let me go ahead and store this in a variable called total chance all right and now we can go ahead and display it in our label all right i'll just append the value over here so now let's go to unity and check if the total chance is shown in the inspector so yeah it's shown over here so right now the total chance is 100 but if i change this to 20 it becomes 110 right so as soon as we change the value the total chance will also change because we are calculating total chance from the on validate function okay so now we are successfully displaying the total chance so we can also change the style of a label if we want so for example we can make it bold so in the label function if you look at the second parameter as you can see that we have a parameter of type gy style so using the style we can customize the appearance of the label so let me actually create an instance of gy style first all right i'll just call this style and now if we look inside the style object as you can see all the things that we can change so in our case we want to change the font style so the font style is actually an enum so i'll set the font style to font style dot bold all right and then i'll pass the style as a second parameter okay so now let's go to unity and check if the change is reflected over here so yeah you can see that the text inside the label is bold all right so next if the total chance is not equal to 100 then we want to show an error message over here so this will help us understand if we made some mistake while entering the, our chance percentage so to show an error message we have a ui element called help box so to create a help box we are not going to use gui layout instead we are going to use editor gui layout all right so gui layout contains basic gui elements like labels buttons text fields etc and editor gui layout contains ui elements that are used in a editor so the elements inside the gui layout they can be created not only in the editor but they can also be used to create the actual game ui but the elements inside the editor gui layout can only be used to create editor ui so that's the difference between these two classes all right so to show an error message we have a ui element called help box so to the help box we can pass the message that we want to show so in our case we can pass something like the total chance is not 100 okay and then we can specify the type of message so if i type message type dot i can see all types of messages that we can use so in our case we want this to be an error so i'll choose that for the type all right so this will display an error message in the inspector but we only want to display it if the total chance is not 100 right so we can use an if condition for that so here i'll check if the total chance is not equal to 100 and only then i'll display the help box okay so now let's go to unity and test if this is working so right now we don't have the error because total chance is 100 so if i make this 11 instead of 10 now the total chance is 101 and now we can see the error right so if the total chance is any value other than 100 then 
we'll get the zero so let me change it back to 10 so now we can see that the error is not shown since the total chance is 100 okay so yeah we have created an edit script for validating total chance percentage so i'll stop the video here if you think this video is helpful please leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel that'll really help me out so i'll see you in the next video